Have you ever seen a fish swim through rock? Me neither. Yet a particle detector in Antarctica has measured something almost as unlikely. Particles that seem to burst out of the ice and race upward through the air. And no one has any idea what this might be. Welcome to another episode of Anomaly Watch. The anomalous particle events were measured by the ANITA experiment, the Antarctic Impulsive Transient Antenna. It's a detector on a balloon that hovers in the stratosphere at about 40 kilometers altitude and watches out for cosmic rays at super high energies. Cosmic rays are caused by high speed particles that come from outer space. When those particles slam into the upper atmosphere, they trigger a chain reaction, a shower of secondary particles called a cosmic ray shower. Some of those particles create brief flashes of light, but most reach the ground. The Anita experiment is an array of radio detectors which dangle from the balloon. The detectors look for radio pulses that are created by ultra-high energy neutrinos hitting the ice. Cosmic ray showers aren't all alike. Depending on what caused them and where, they have larger or smaller opening angles, directions or particle compositions. But they have one thing in common. They come from above. We don't expect highly energetic particles to shoot out of the ground. But during its first flight late in 2006, Anita saw exactly that, a radio burst that signaled particles racing upward. And during its third flight eight years later, it saw another. Both events have ultra high energies in the range of roughly an exa electron volt. That's 10 to the 18 electron volts and about 100,000 times more than what the LHC produces. This is the Anita anomaly. So the anomaly itself isn't new, but what just happened is that another experiment ruled out the explanation that physicists had come up with. You see, the most plausible, conservative and kind of boring explanation was high energy neutrinos coming from the other side of the planet. This seems plausible because neutrinos interact with matter very rarely. So if one has high enough energy, it could make it almost through the planet and then hit something in the ice on the other side. That decay would spray particles upward through the air much like what Anita saw. It's unlikely, indeed so unlikely, that no one expected Anita to see it, but it could happen. However, that conservative explanation just fell apart thanks to this new study. It comes from the Pierre Auger Observatory in Argentina that also looks for cosmic ray showers, but in a different way. They have more than 1,000 particle detectors on the ground that look for the faint ultraviolet glow which air showers leave behind. The thing is, if what Anita saw was an upward shower coming from the other side of the planet, then Auger should also sometimes see these. Indeed, since they have 15 years worth of data and monitor a much larger area, they should have seen more of these events than Anita. They estimated that to match the frequency of events at Anita, they should at the very least have seen eight such events, but on average more than 30. What they actually found in the data was one. They say that there's about a 25% chance that this one event is a misinterpretation of data and a less than three in a thousand chance that their result is compatible with the NATO. The bottom line is that they have ruled out the upgoing neutrino idea with high confidence. So there goes the most conservative explanation. If neutrinos were behind the NATO signals, Auger would have seen something similar. Now what? By the way, this video comes with a quiz that lets you check how much you remember. Well, with the most conservative explanation ruled out, we're back to the exciting possibility that we're actually looking at new physics and that this might be the first crack in the standard model of particle physics. It means that we'll have to reconsider the other explanations that have been proposed. For example, that it's a supersymmetric particle or a new type of neutrino called a sterile neutrino or dark matter decaying. 
Another idea is that it's some strange refractance in ice. This paper ranks very low on my bullshit meter. I give it a 1 out of 10 because it's basically just data analysis. It's not a 0 because yes, you can bullshit with statistics, but I think this is likely to be a real anomaly. And it could plausibly be a sign of new physics, for example, a new particle, because something like this is exactly how you expect a new particle to show up. That or the penguins have discovered nuclear fusion. Problems, I'm sure you have a few, but problem solving is a skill that you can train just like any other. I found that a simple and effective way to do this is with Brilliant. Brilliant offers courses on a large variety of topics in science, computer science and mathematics. All their courses have interactive visualizations and come with follow-up questions. Whether you want to learn to think like an engineer, brush up your knowledge of algebra or want to learn coding in Python, Brilliant has you covered. It's a fast and easy way to learn and you can do it whenever and wherever you you have the time and they're adding new courses each month. I even have my own course on Brilliant. That's an introduction to quantum mechanics. It'll help you understand what a wave function is and what the difference is between superpositions and entanglement. It also covers interference, the uncertainty principle and Bell's theorem. And after that, you can continue maybe with a course on quantum computing or differential equations. And of course, I have a special offer for viewers of this channel. If you use my link brilliant.org slash Sabine or scan the QR code, you'll get to try out everything Brilliant has to offer for a full 30 days and you'll get 20% off the annual premium subscription. So go and check this out. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.